hey guys welcome back to my channel and happy new year so it is officially january 1st 2019 and right now i'm getting ready to head out the house to go to my three-day trip right now it is 1201 i have to be at the airport at 215 we're just doing one leg to indy the next day we do something and then we end up in boston and the next day we do some more stuff and then we end up back in LaGuardia. Have that night off until I have, is it that night or do I have a whole day? I think it's just that night and I have a three day trip starting the next day. So I'm gonna take y'all along every day of this trip for this whole entire week. No days off really, but it's whatever because this job is a big vacation anyway. So we're going to Indy. I think it's colder than it is actually here in New York. I think that high here today was about 61 and Indy was saying about 38. So yeah, I have my hat on today. I have to take it off when I get on a plane to put on a ponytail. But I'm dressed and ready to go. Once again, Happy New Year. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a new year. You're gonna hear all those posts on um, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. New year, new me. But I think this year will be a new me. Well, I'm reverting back to the old, old me. From the past year, you know, it was kind of hard for me, but I'm going back to the Britney from like, like two years ago where I had control over my life. But anyway, Happy New Year once again. I'm over here blabbing, but I really have to get ready to go. I think I'm trying to leave the house within the next 30 minutes or so. But since it's midday, I take longer to get ready for a trip when it's midday compared to if I gotta get ready for a trip at 5 a.m. Like I can do it in like 30 minutes if it's like 5 a.m. showtime. But when it's midday or something, I gotta be there at two o'clock like today. I take so long, I literally been getting dressed for the past hour. And no, I don't even wear makeup. And it's taking me so much longer. Um, what is this that I'm actually watching? But anyway. It's taking me so long. I'm trying to pack food. I went to the seafood restaurant the other day, The Boil. It's my favorite restaurant in New York. Um, it's like, you know, one of them seafood boils in New Orleans and stuff. This crawfish, shrimp, whatever. But I went to that. I got crawfish and shrimp. I'm actually going to try and take my leftovers with me. Hope I don't smell up my luggage. Smell like a bunch of seafood, but whatever. I also cooked for New Year's, so I have ribs mac and cheese and spinach. I don't know if spinach goes with it, but that's all I had as a vegetable in my fridge, in my freezer. So I have both of those items for both nights. And I was actually trying to get my fiance to come out with me on one of these trips. But today he took a flight out to San Francisco and he's just staying there for the day. And then he's coming back tomorrow morning. So I told him when he get there, just take like the big the big bus, not the big bus, but hop on, hop off bus, the big red ones that you see in the cities like in New York City. I told him to take that and it takes you everywhere all over San Francisco. He can see everything all in one day. And then he's coming back the next day. He's trying to go to multiple places this week. So I told him just follow me on my trips. You will go multiple places. I got six days worth of trips you can go on. So we'll see if he can meet up with me tomorrow night in Boston. And that's that. But y'all, um, I'll see y'all later on the plane or in my hotel. I'll try to vlog in the plane, but if not, I will definitely see y'all in my hotel. So, y'all, so I'm on the plane, and I got a hat here. I'm so mad. But anyway, we're on the plane. I'm extra early. I'm I'm here before the show time, so we're just waiting around. I was looking around in the airport at TSA because, you know, the government shutdown just happened not too long ago, and TSA... Is basically they're working without pay well they, they getting paid but it's gonna be like back pay like a retro so where did she go but yeah so I was looking at their faces to see how they feel about working during the government shutdown and not getting paid immediately so I'm just glad that it doesn't cover the flight crew so yeah this government shutdown is crazy I hear the post offices is doing the same thing so y'all, um, I'm just gonna sit here. Don't know what else to say, but I will see y'all later if I think of something else. So y'all, I'm on a two hour flight and I'm getting pretty bored. I'm in my cubicle. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but this is what I'm doing right now. I'm reading once again, one of my inappropriate books and drinking my apple juice. I just reached back 
I well not back I just reached my hotel and y'all wouldn't believe what just happened so as soon as we land in Indy the door opens the gauge and comes she give us a message she leaves she comes back while the passengers are getting off she comes back she goes oh um crew scheduling wants y'all to give them a call ops just told us to tell y'all that crew scheduling said give them a call I was like oh I said, I hope she mean y'all, right? So, you know, you know, the FO got the message, so he told the captain. So they already mad because the FO, when he came on the plane, he just kept saying, oh, this is such an easy pairing. Day one, one leg. Day two, we got two legs. Day three is three legs. This is an easy pairing. He's, he dead said that when we got on the plane. So they called crew scheduling. All I heard was Jacksonville. I'm like, hmm? Jacksonville? We just got to Indy. That's all I heard. So I'm like, don't tell me it's about to get Jacksonville turned. So apparently, they just wanted the captains to repo the plane to Jacksonville. And they're going to overnight there, do something, and then meet back up with us in LaGuardia to pick back up the rest of the trip. Repoing is when you take the plane, no passengers on, and go to another destination because maybe the plane is needed in that destination. So that's what the captains are doing. They're gonna repo the plane by themselves. They gotta do the doors by themselves. And you know, every captain is scared of the doors. They're scared that they may blow up, um, blow a slide. So they all scared of um, the door. They always ask the flight attendants, can y'all go over it with us just one more time because I'm scared of the slide. I said they do scare y'all with the slide though, but just, I'm not even gonna tell y'all how to do it, but <laughs> anyway, so we meet back up with them tomorrow. Tomorrow we um, go to LaGuardia from here and then to Boston. So they'll pick back up from LaGuardia, Boston. And tomorrow morning we're gonna have an Indiana based crew meet us. And I guess they're gonna have to deadhead back or whatever. I don't know what they're gonna have them do after that. But I was so scared because what if that was all of us that had to go to Jacksonville? All I was doing was like lusting over my food I'm about to eat when I get in this hotel room because as y'all know, I told y'all earlier that I have the seafood that I went to at the boil, the restaurant. It's crawfish and shrimp inside of the mild Old Bay garlic butter sauce. I can't wait to tear that up. And I got two beds in this room. So one bed is gonna be for eating, one bed is gonna be for sleeping. But anyway, y'all, um, I think that's about that about wraps it up. There's nothing else to say. So bye. See y'all tomorrow.